I like Mexico. I love the Mexican people. But you have people coming through the border that are from all over. And they're bad. Killers and rapists. And, I mean, they're coming into this country. The man who's used to telling people they're fired has been canned himself because of those comments. NBC is pulling the plug on Donald Trump's popular shows like The Apprentice and pageants like Miss Universe and Miss USA, which Trump is part owner. And Univision is doing the same, but they're not the only ones with something to say. I'm not going to justify Donald Trump's or respond to John, Donald Trump's conversations or his comments. Florida Lieutenant Governor Carlos Lopez Cantera is in town visiting the Southwest Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I asked him about what Trump's offensive remarks could mean for the Republican Party going forward. As far as the Republican Party, I don't think Donald Trump speaks for the Republican Party. But after portraying some immigrants from Mexico as criminals and rapists, many in the Latino community feel insulted. Uh, of course, people of Latin descent, I'm a Latina, um, they were offensive. He's not someone to be taken serious. Now, the question is, will the Hispanic community be able to take the Republican Party seriously after the comments by one of its own? They have a lot of work to do in terms of their messaging and um, to continue to highlight what he said um, is not going to be helpful. Trump stands by what he said, even as NBC is cutting ties with the billionaire businessman. Now, with my statements on immigration, which happen to be correct, uh, they are going to take a different stance, and that's okay. Now, Donald says he plans to sue Univision for breach of contract for not airing Miss Universe. And he said today in Chicago he may sue NBC as well. Live in the studio, Malcolm Johnson, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Malcolm. We do want to hear from you now. What do you think about NBC and Univision pulling the plug on Trump's shows and pageants after those controversial comments? And what do you think about what he said? Let us know when you give us a call. It's 206-FOX-4, or you can email us news at fox4now.com.